Bailey was and today we starting off already going extra extra crazy yeah. but we're going extra extra crazy today I guess chat somebody did something got the state treated eans up here but I do just put new brakes on my Suron so I'm about to have to break them in you're doing i guess i came outside and everybody went crazy but today like i said in the last video i'm about to come up with a video before it gets dark i'm about to give you all some trips that some tips that help me on my suron x do combos so i've only been riding since december pretty much january we'd say of 2023 and y'all know what month it is now so it's been like six seven months and this is my progress in like seven months of never knowing how to wheelie bro so if you got a suron x this is probably the video for you and i had a couple of people say they needed a video tips and tricks wise and I'm gonna go ahead and run over the simple mods that I think that y'all should invest in if you do got a Suron X so I don't have any power upgrades as you can see I would go grip seat I got this off eBay 20 30 40 50 bucks something like that you know that was a, a wide wide range of pricing but then I went back brakes I went Magura MT5 there might be better better brakes you could also upgrade your rear cal or your um your rear rotor as well but i'm just stock power as you can see stock battery stock controller just magura pads and i got these uh stock tires and the 19s on here these tires they got a bigger balance point than the knobbies it helps me swerve all that oh and main main thing i've also got this right here makes it look more like a dirt bike type and y'all can see the shinkos i got the same size front and back and then another super, super, super good mod that I put on my bike is the Warp 9. I think it's a 58 or a 62 sprocket on the back. I did have to upgrade the chain. And also, damn, I'm forgetting all the mods, chat. I also got the kick shifter right here off a dirt bike. The shifter, I use it to lock my foot in, as you'll see. But no foot brake, nothing like that. I'm also just coming off of wrecking my 250 that y'all saw in my last ride. I wrecked the 250, messed up my back and my ribs. So this is also my first ride back in two weeks. So, and I would pretty much all I do is pop it up like this, immediately pull the brake. You're just gonna pop it up and slam it. That's gonna teach you to always remember to use your back brake. If you always cover your back brake, you're never gonna loop unless your brakes, unfortunately, they go out, which has happened, that's happened to me. But over time, by popping it up and slamming it, eventually you'll realize how far back is too far back. You know what I'm saying? And then always your first thing in your mind, you always need to pull that back brake. That back brake is what's going to get you right here. You know what I'm saying? Right now, it's no brake. No brake. You really don't need any brake until the bike is up here. 12 o'clock is the only time you need brakes, really, chat. But if you teach yourself to... Woo! <laughs> if you teach yourself how to modulate the brake over time you'll just get better and better and it has no engine brake like a dirt bike it's kind of like a bicycle chat you know what i'm saying so you just kind of modulate it the whole time as soon as you drop back too far just hit it don't be mad when you just pop it up drop it over time you just learn your balance chat just like anything if you want to get good at anything chat you got to put in the hours and i tell you i rode this john every day i still ride it almost every day and i'm still not as best as i can be chat First ride back in two weeks. Ah! On what I think is the most important, these are probably the top five best Suron mods, being the brakes, the sprocket, the tires, and the seat. That's pretty much not having to spend any bread, bro. That's no power upgrades, no battery upgrades. It's a budget build. So get you MT5s, so you can get them on Amazon for like, a hundred bucks chat just run them super easy watch a video of how to install them takes like 20 minutes once you figure them out just change your tires if you want the street tires tires don't really matter like that's all preference and then the seat is going to help you grip the brakes y'all know them stock johns they wear out super fast these are going to last a little bit longer they're also going to have more modulation room you know what i'm saying and the shifter lock is a1 chat y'all need that it's pretty much shift locking this is how you're going to do hand drags you're going to do all that by locking in your foot chat This is how you do that. And 
just like that just over time you're just gonna learn that modulation once you learn how i would not throw any combos chat until you figure out how to just do a normal sit down wheelie until you almost just want to put it down you know what i'm saying you shouldn't be going for combos in traffic at least until you learn your balance once you learn and throw these combos in that's when everything's going to start tying together chat and what i would do just to practice this right here slow chat you got to think the surround doesn't like high speeds it's like a bicycle so right here this is where that 60 tooth eats chat it's gonna have the the torque it's gonna keep it up the whole time it's just slow wheelies that's what you want anyway chat if you fall right here at this speed you're just gonna fucking bounce you're not gonna be crying you're not gonna have to get the alcohol rubbed down chat you're just gonna burn a little bit you're gonna get your feelings hurt you're gonna get back up just practice nobody likes power wheelies through the pack chat and then once you learn these sit down wheelies you figure out how to control the bike you can drop it back in traffic like this slow down and then you're gonna try to go for knee chat you're gonna go knee knocker and I like left knee on the seat that so if you ever switch over to a dirt bike chat you're gonna be used to your foot brake you're always gonna be used to having that foot up here you know what I'm saying you're gonna be used and I'm about to show y'all knee knocker in a minute Look, always go up with left knee on the seat. It's gonna be like a dirt bike if you go to get on a dirt bike. Look, left knee at the same time. It's gonna get scary because you're gonna be on top of the bike. But y'all gotta think, chat, like the first time you popped a wheelie, it felt the same. You're gonna pop it up. You can do it like this way. You can brake bump. If you brake bump, it brings the bike down. You slam the brake, it's easier to get up. And you're just going to keep it under balance point. Chase it if you got to. Get used to it until you can coast it. Like that. But what you're going to have to do if you want to go from switch, you got to give it gas every time the front drops. It's not going to have that power. And then once you get the knee knocker, that's when all your combos kind of come in, chat. That's when you go knee knocker, foot over, podium. And then you learn how to keep the bike up and go back to on the sit down. Once you can go up knee up, knee down to sit down and up to knee knocker, that's all you need to know. The rest is all going to flow in. Whenever you go seat jumper, unless you go from stand up down to seat sit down, most of the time you land knee knock. If you can't go knee knock, you can't get down off the seat jump. You know what I'm saying? Ah. Also, if you got a programmer and a battery, it'll keep the bike up a lot easier. You won't have to go as slow chat. But for stock power, this is my best five mods, I guess, tips and tricks wise that you should follow. learn your knee knocker that's really step one look go up to knee knocker sit down and just spam that until you get used to it
just like that, all the combos start with a knee knocker, chat. Y'all gotta think, to get to the other side of the bite, you're either jumping, or you're going to knee, look, knee up, knee over, you're going down, look, it's all in that knee knocker, chat. All in that knee. Learn knee, learn that break modulation, learn how to coast these. And chat, if y'all did like my five tips, six tips, also, I got a secret tip. If your Suron did come with that little programmer cable, it's got a little LED on it, you should be able to do it without it. But I also have regen turned off on my bike, which simulates kind of like an engine brake. I have that off, so that's how I'm also able to coast, do hand drags. I don't know if you like regen or no regen. That's kind of just based on you. This is just what I'm growing up on. That's what I started on is no regen. So I turned it off as soon as I got the bike, and that's where I'm at now, chat. Also, it just feels nice to just be able to coast no dropping down it would also help save your brake if you are worried about your brake life but the rest of the video until it gets dark i'm just going to do combos just commentate a little bit so like comment subscribe it's your boy bailey wise and i post damn near four times or more a week so y'all just like comment and subscribe man y'all always going to get content from me we almost at 2k chat so 50 subs away man i appreciate every single one of you helping me get to where my dreams are man peace man it's your boy Appreciate y'all. Enjoy the wheelie content chat. Hand drag in traffic is crazy, buddy. And this is what y'all trying to be able to do. Take the key out. No regen, man. And who's chirping this bitch like me, man?
damn chat, that was a D D D D. And before it gets too dark, chat, we gonna end it off on a good line. <laughs> Save the hand drag chat. That's how you end up a video, man. If y'all like them five tips, y'all gotta tap in with me, man. Tap in. <laughs> <laughs>